Today is Friday morning. We are at base camp. It took us two days to get here. And we're just going through the map right now. And we just added up the portages that we did because we did a double carry on each of them. We walked about 13, 13, 14 13, kilometers. 13 yeah. 13 5 kilometers. I'm gonna say 14 kilometers because it felt it felt <laughs> yeah. that way. Yeah, it well, felt a lot it's, more. it's not as the crow flies. So yeah. yeah, it's a lot of ups and downs. Some tough uh, two, and it took us about eight hours to do each day. Yeah. So that was um, those are tough days back to back. It's one thing to do a day like that and then camp for somewhere, but back to back. Uh, but here we are at uh, Burt Root and we're on a nice island campsite and we're going to be here for uh, five nights. So last night and then four more nights here. And the goal getting here was to do some lake trout fishing and uh, there's some brook trout here too. But um, this lake's known for some for some big lake trout. So hoping to hook into those and that'll, that'll be fun. It's historic water levels on this trip. Like the um, the spring, the winter that they've had, the, the, we've we've come across as much snow as I've ever seen in a portage in the middle of May. Um, mm. There's there's a ton of snow in the woods still. The trails are you know there's a lot of blowdown and stuff. But, yeah. Um, the water levels are crazy high. So Petawawa, there, we've passed some rapids where normally be great fishing spots, but the water's so high it makes it a little trickier to do. Yeah, that's a long way to go. It was. <laughs> well, we what? saw the uh, well the, 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 alligator. the alligator was nice. We and. Um, Came across that on uh, Catfish Lake. There's a nice spot where if you want to see some history, um, Algonquin Park is basically a logging park 100, over 100 years ago and there's a nice museum in Algonquin Park if you ever want to learn yeah. a little bit about the history of it. And um, every once in a while you'll come across um, remnants of that and we came across an alligator which was a uh, some sort of vehicle that they they invented uh, which crawls along the water and crawls along land and drags the logs uh, along the ice and water and that sort of thing and that's probably a bad description of it but uh, you'll know <laughs> when you see it go to the museum they'll have a better explanation for it <laughs> tons but, it's amazing to see that many tons of steel that yeah, far inland it that was part just is crazy pretty amazing in the middle of nowhere in the yeah, middle of nowhere yeah. do you come across and two days traveling you, you feel like you're in wilderness we've only ran into a couple people and uh, most of them subscribers. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> Portage, and I ran into a couple more subscribers Josh and Ben. You guys hey, want to say hey. hi? How's, How's it going? How's it going? YouTube! Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Thanks, all you subscribers watching on his behalf. See, the stuff that I put up with. <laughs> <laughs> it was really flattering to run across people who, who watch the channel and, and recognize these clowns and uh, and actually uh, Griff, Griff. Yep. yeah my um, the, the last um, gentleman that we ran into uh, Griff was in front of uh, in front of the canoe and we were heading toward him and uh, he didn't even recognize me he's like who's that in the front of that canoe <laughs> I know you, I watch you on YouTube. You recognize Griffin, which is pretty neat. So Griffin's kind of like, what's going on here? Yeah. So, yeah, it's been fun. So, uh, yeah, our plan is to stay here for a few days. We had a, a fun first couple of days. Bill caught a nice uh, oh, book yeah. trout on, on Pearly, Pearly Lake. Lake. We were just trolling um, on the way here. Yeah, you got that it. on video, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll show it. You've and, seen it already. Yeah, yeah, you'll have seen it already because that that'll nice be one. the first episode. This will probably be the second one. So yesterday, near the end of the day, uh, it, the weather turned. It was raining. Foul. Uh, you know, sometimes Cold. you're you're rushing to get down, and and I didn't. Uh, you know, by this time you've taken clothes off, you've put clothes on, and uh, Griff didn't have his rain pants on, and the rain started coming down. So by the time we got to uh, Griff's 12, by the time we got to the portage, you know, he's a tough little guy, but he was he was having was, a hard it was time. It a lot to take. Yep. So we had to stop. You know, get his uh, dig his rain pants out, and I gave him some extra clothes of mine, and uh, a couple toques on, and uh, warm him up a little bit. <laughs> And uh, he, he was okay, but you know, Wes, uh, as we're doing that, Wes and Bill are helping us out uh, with our gear and lugging it down the portage. Exactly. And so, um, you know, if you're if you're new to this, I mean, I encourage you guys to get out, but um, this, as much as I don't consider us uh, an extreme group, um, you would certainly classify this as an extreme trip. Like we're in arguably the most remote part of the park in two full days to get here. I, I 
you know, if you travel th three days, you're heading back to the exit of the park. So yeah. two days is pretty much the middle of the park, no matter what direction you go into. And um, yeah, especially paddling upstream. It's a, it's a tough, it's a tough two days here. Mm -hmm. um, maybe not for everybody. I can hardly wait for the ride home. Yeah, yeah. We're <laughs> but, a, but a great opportunity too. Yeah. Like it, it is tough, but yeah. if you've got good people, uh, it's an experience unlike anything else. Like, yeah. yeah, it's tough, but it's one of those where you're pushing outside of your comfort zone. And when you're doing that with people that you can trust and rely on, it yeah. all it does is make the bonds tighter and uh, a lot of laughs. It's been yeah. tough, but man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the more struggle, the more laughs. It's usually well, yeah, how it You works. just have to. At yeah. some point, it's, it's like, well, you can't works. change it. So it's like at some point, you just stop and you laugh. It's like, yeah. what's going on? You're like... I don't know. <laughs> this is just crazy. What are we doing here? But then you're here, and it's like, wow. Yeah, I'm glad we're here. Wow. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. You'll never yeah. sit back ten years ago later and talk about the uh, the times you sat in the couch in the warm couch and, and yeah. did nothing and just read a book. You won't remember those times, oh. but you remember the extreme times, oh. and you'll laugh about the extreme times. Yeah. So get out of your comfort level, and uh, you'll make some memories for sure. <laughs> All right. Enough chatting. Thanks. Or? No, they're just a little bit behind there. Oh, yeah. oh, there's my answer to the fishing. Yeah, I got those this morning. Nice lady. Wow, not very nice. Yeah. Huh? Well, it hasn't been great though, to be honest with you. No, for fun and the same. Yeah. How was the um, the, the nip? Was it pretty high, the water? No, it wasn't bad. Oh. It was um, quite good, actually. Very surprised. But um, I think a little bit too cold still. Yeah. So the fishing was average. You know, I got, um, I think I caught 29 brook trout where last year, those first three days, I caught 75. Oh, oh. yeah. So that was quite a drop. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, mostly small ones too. Uh, Ted got a 21 inch on the first day, which was nice. Wow. Well, Jim probably got a 20 inch. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That's the same route you did uh, the first one you did. Four years right? ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. First, yeah, first video, first YouTube video. This is uh, you do? my buddy Bill, Bill. it's my son Griffin, Griffin. <laughs> and that's uh, Wes. Yeah. yeah. So, how, how long have you been here? Uh, this is our second uh, full day. Yeah. So, we're gonna go check on the fire real quick. Yeah, we're gonna spend, uh, we're gonna head out Tuesday morning. What is it, Saturday? Hey, Saturday. Hey, Saturday. <laughs> yeah, we're in the same boat. Yeah. I like exactly, glad. Yeah. Thank goodness it's on the watch. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you came in Cedar. Yeah. And what, up the Petawawa? Or? Yeah. 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 Okay. The water was high there. Oh, no, it wasn't. Yeah. It was, I was yeah. worried that um, huh? we wouldn't be, make some of the portage entrances. Yeah. Really? Because of the going upstream. But yeah. There's a couple they rerouted us around because of high water. Yeah, yeah. We couldn't get under the bridge, so we had to... <laughs> Had to go onto the road, go up the road a bit and yes. around. Wow. So and it's snow in the bush, I guess. Lots mm -hmm. of fun. Yeah. There was like two feet in that it's one fun. stretch. Yeah, I remember doing that a couple of years ago. It was like that. Yeah. Yeah, and then even with all that rain, you'd think, okay, yeah. with all that rain, how much was there yeah. Yeah. <laughs> where it still didn't even clear it? Yeah, we had a patch here coming over from Nipissing to Ramona, just maybe a foot deep, just a couple of spots. So. Oh my goodness. Lake trout fishing is pretty good, guys. Well, it's not great, but it did okay good. this morning. Yeah, we've good. had better, but we can't complain. Nice. That's, uh... <laughs> had these ones this morning, eh? That's a big one, though. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. That one, like nine pounds. Because the, the, the big one really looked like a brookie to me from back there. Oh, and I was yeah. really excited. <laughs> hold, <laughs> hold her up. That would have been a. Hold her up. Yeah, it was just like what? What is that? A record? Yeah. Oh yeah, see, it's got it's got a lot of the color there, right? Yeah, so, yeah but the tail split. Yeah, so. yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah, from back there, I just saw colors, right? And I was yeah. like, wow. All right, there we go. See, script. Cool. Yeah. Nice ones. Jesus, the same system. I figure that's probably like 
seven pounds or something like that. Are going back yeah, 20, like that? 28 inches for the Laker. 28? Yeah. 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 The one I got here is up there with 30 inches. So that that one in the video in 15? Yeah. yeah. Look at that uh, shed, eh? Nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah, <laughs> I just I brought it into the park with me. Yeah. <laughs> it, it just, felt like, video, right? just felt like carrying it around forever. Yeah. It oh, it, yeah, it's great for staging shots and... <laughs> Somebody's been there. Uh, then you gotta be careful already. not yeah, to dump all the other boats. Or this, this oh, really? Three yeah. years ago, I guess. Yeah, yeah somebody hit a, a, a spot recovery and they flew in. He had a heart attack or oh, he went, really? went into the water and had a heart attack mm. from the shock of the water. Hmm. You heard that just before you came Just out? before we came in. Yeah. Oh. Well, so huh. that would have been, what did we, we come in? Yeah. Came in Wednesday. Wednesday, so it would have been like Monday or Tuesday. Cedar Lake was busy. Was it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was like I, Brent, the, the pudding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like when, uh, we usually come into South Bend. I've yeah. never been up this end before. Yeah, I haven't either. I thought it would be a little more remote. Like, yeah. We could, it was packed. Oh, yeah. 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 That's a long couldn't, road. Couldn't They're hauling in trailers. Did you guys come in the like uh, the long weekend, though? No, too. No, we, we drove up Tuesday. Later. And it was, cedar was packed? It yeah. was packed. Yeah. There like, were trailers we there. I don't know how they brought trailers in on that road, because like there yeah. were chunks that were washed out oh, and really? potholed. But they got like double axle trailer in there. <laughs> Maybe yeah, just because really. the, the opening kept get pushing back, so yeah. everybody piled up. Well, right? she said they did a soft opening. If you showed up, yeah. Uh, yeah. they well, let you with, know. Yeah, they didn't tell us that. Yeah. I got the same call. Like, yeah. Right after I commented, I got a call. That's right answered it and rescheduled twice yeah. and then uh, we show up the parking lot and where are these cars coming yeah. up? Yeah. Exactly. How'd they, get, how'd, how'd they yeah. get here? Yeah. And now you guys got here first and caught our fish. Yeah. <laughs> well yeah. What did you guys catch it on? A spoon just that like you're spoon. using. Yeah. A, a cyclops? <laughs> Actually a Len Thompson uh, spoon. That's what I was using. Yeah. A Len Thompson? I caught both of those on the same one though. So because normally I use Rapalas and so they're down deeper. Yep. Yeah. Five of diamonds. Or? How deep are they? Like 15. Well, the spoon goes a little deeper, right? So I was I was trolling slow with it. So yeah, it's hard when we were just blazing through to really get. <laughs> That's why I got little, these weights on. Well, especially when you're going to, so quick, it's, it's just a little slow. fish just tucked underneath. See that fish there? Like, yeah. Trying to. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't see it. Trying to get a snack. It's like a little, it looks like a little catfish. It's underneath them right now. Yeah. Catch them with your hands. Drift catches oh, frogs and You gotta be careful, these guys and... ate, ate those things for like 30 days. <laughs> 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 Might start salivating yeah, on you. Easy, <laughs> oh yeah. Griffy has a knack for uh, catching things with a net. Griff, what'd you catch? Show a me. catfish. Let's see, let's take a look at him. This guy was trying to eat our brook trout. And uh, Griffy. He's a rat! Let's see here, where is he at? There he is. The Griff scooped him up. He's got a crazy sick. knack for that sort of thing. All right, we'll put him back away, away from maybe our catfish, eh? Or our brook trout. Can we cook this guy? <laughs> no. Well, we're lucky enough to get some company on our base camp. Um, <laughs> the Baird brothers and Sean James popped by. They were uh, going on a loop. You guys are heading to Longer Lake? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, into the Tim. Yeah, and into the yeah, Tim. So we're base camping on Burnt Root, and they just uh, they just came by and uh, popped in. I had talked to Sean earlier, so we thought maybe we could bump heads, and it worked out. So good luck, and uh, we tried to give him some fishing tips before they left, and I can only do so much. So hopefully, uh, they'll be all right. <laughs>